Witnesses tell us that not only was he begging for money to put gas in the car, but he couldn't even figure out how to put the gas in the car. And so that's when he even offered to sell the car to a station employee for $5,000. Santa Ana police found it strange that the driver of a pricey white Ferrari was asking people for money to buy gas at a Santa Ana mobile station earlier this month and that he didn't know how to put gas in the tank. When they approached, the man fled. Police found him hiding in some nearby bushes and arrested 38-year-old Israel Rangel. Needless to say, Rangel wasn't the owner of the $340,000 car. It had been stolen two weeks prior at the Ferrari and Maserati of Newport Beach Service Center in Costa Mesa. Well, it was taken to the service center to be repaired. Not repaired, just serviced. But when Edward York and his girlfriend went back to pick up the car the next day, it was nowhere to be found. I was sitting there for about an hour, and the guy come, they were all running around looking like crazy, and then they come and say, sir, your car's been stolen, and it's my girlfriend's Ferrari. Edward says the service center realized the car had been stolen after looking at security tape. It had been missing for 27 hours before anybody even noticed it was stolen. Edward says Wrangell had simply walked into the service center, found the keys on the Ferrari seat, and drove it out the front door. When it was finally found at the gas station, it was thrashed. He was begging for gas for this Ferrari, and people looked at it and thought, oh, why are the shields ripped off and it's dirty and there's puke all over it? The hole underneath and everything was just ripped to shreds. A girl was also with Wrangell in the car. I think they must have been living in it, doing drugs in it. They were, there was drugs all over. They ripped out the dash. They chopped the dash. They tore the paddle shifters off. Edward says they are more than disappointed with the Ferrari Service Center's gross lack of negligence and lack of help. But in our case, no help. Nothing. The dealer's done nothing. Nothing.